Hey folks, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. So, happy weekend and I want to make a video now. We're going to be talking about Trader Workstation setups like usual because it's a very relevant topic because there's it's actually not so easy to configure Trader Workstation to work the way you want to. Now, I've been making some realizations and today I figured out something that I've been trying to figure out all week. All right, so let's get right into it here in today's video. I'm also going to share all of my hotkey settings with you later in the video. So stick around for that if you're interested. I'm, I've been getting a lot of questions about my hotkey layout. So I'll share my hotkey layout. I understand if you don't, if you're not feeling creative to create your own setting, I'll show you what I use. It's very simple. So that's pretty much it. So let's get right into it here. So this was my compact execution layout and it's smaller layout because in front of me here's a 32 inch monitor and I use this on my left side here which is a smaller monitor it's about 20 to 22 inches so that's generally this layout here now I'll run you through how I was running this so basically I have two groups on trader workstation the first group is for my underlying stock so usually I'll have an underlying here and that's correlated with this level to this time in sales and uh, that's pretty much it all right and then I have a second group over here which is for my derivatives and it was working great for a while okay so derivatives in the sense I'm, I'm an options trader right so I, I chart the option here I have the time and sales of the option and the bid and the ask of the option showing up there and this watch list is basically used for bringing in my options so my process is once I get my options chain and I know which I'm, what I'm trading what I do is I, I just transfer the options that I want to trade over to my watch list and I'm ready to go so generally before the trading session starts i'll load in the option contracts i need both calls and puts on either side into my watch list and i'll be ready to trade both sides right so in case like i need to reverse a trade quickly i'll be in let's say i'm long a put i need to cover the put and i want to get long a call instead i want to be quick with that you know because i'm a scalper i'm a short-term trader that's what i'm trying to work on so i need efficiency in this setup now the problem that i've been encountering in, is that in Trader Workstation, there's been a super glitch where you try to chart options on the SPY, Apple, and countless other names. So look, I'll just show you right here. If I try to pull up an Apple option, so one, two, three. Okay, it charted pretty fast. How about a SPY option? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seconds, that's too long for me, all right? and. If you choose any other option, like if I go and get, uh, say, I don't know, Visa, just for fun, anything else, V, let's bring over an option, Visa April 3rd call, right away, it's instantaneous. So look, if I'm day trading options short term and I'm scalping in and out, I do not have seven seconds to be waiting around to try and wait for this chart to show up, okay? So it's been annoying me a lot, the fact that Trader Workstation has been having chart glitching. So what I've been trying to figure out is how can I make my hotkeys work without a chart? Because it's very clear that it's easy to program hotkeys in Trader Workstation if you use a chart. So for example, you click on the chart, you set up your hotkeys in Chart Trader, and then once you're ready, you can program all your hotkeys. You see buy, sell, cancel order, or uh, let's say I put in a limit order by limit at this point I can move the limit price you can see you can see here at the bottom I can easily move the limit price right now it's showing quantity of 10 I can easily change that quantity all right these are all programmed to hotkeys so ideally I need this to work instantaneously so when I choose the option contract I need to be able to buy or sell it instantly without any kind of waiting for charts to load or things like that okay so that was my dilemma basically so guys I figured it out and it's really cool. So here we go. So I don't know if any of you have seen what classic TWS looks like, but it looks like this. It's basically a quote monitor, all right? Now, when you look at that, and you look at the majority of modern trading setups, you look at this and you say, wow, that's so ugly. This is the most ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just showing me just some data, the bid and the ask, last price change, etc. It's so ugly, right? Okay, but this quote monitor right here is the savior of my entire trading career right now if i had a trading career so what i'm trying to say is that the, the quote monitor allows you to do all of the stuff that i'm trying to do so look i put in a quote monitor here i can easily bring in any option contract i want to this and i can display any info i want now look i click on the option contract i click on buy order shows up right here okay at that point i can transmit it with control t which i uh, sorry shift t which would be my transmit command or just leave it there. Now, cancel order. 
let's say I put in a buy limit. There's my buy limit. If I want to raise the limit price, easily raise it, easily lower it, easily alter the size of the order, cancel the order, okay? You need to click back on there to cancel the order. This, guys, is my savior. This right here has allowed me to program all my hotkeys and not have to wait for charts to load. I know it's like really not a crazy thing here, but that's it. So look, if you're looking for an easy way to trade short term and you use a different platform for charting, this is the way to do it with Trader Workstation. Just use the quote monitor because in the quote monitor, like I just showed you, you have your details about your underlying or your derivative, whatever you're, you're charting, basically whatever you got. So in this case, I've got an option contract here. You can put it in order directly through the quote monitor and it shows up right below it and you can transmit it, show all the data about the order coming through. And yeah, that's it. Okay. And if you want to display your profit and loss and everything, everything is displayable right in front of you on this quote monitor. Moral of the story, I'm going to be using the quote monitor from now on and that's it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this compact execution layout and I'm going to get rid of the order entry, the activity trading logs, the watch list, this ugly chart. I'm getting rid of all these things and I'm going to have one chart, three tapes and a quote monitor. That's it. That's all you need, man. All right, guys. So um, yeah, I guess I'll share my hotkeys with you now. So. I've programmed all my hotkeys within the general configuration menu under hotkeys. Now, these hotkeys work only on windows that allow the hotkeys to work. And I literally spent three hours or more trying every single window in Trader Workstation to see which ones work with hotkeys and which ones don't. And I'll tell you right away that charts obviously work with hotkeys. But if, you're, if your charts are lagging, then that's not reliable, right? Market depth level two doesn't work very well with hotkeys. The book trader is also a level two. It does not work very well with hotkeys, okay? The time and sales does not work very well with hotkeys. So the majority of things here, I tried almost everything. I even went to the advanced tools and they have something called market depth trader, which is another level two that's more advanced. And that does not work very well with hotkeys. So guys, I use the quote window, quote monitor, and thank you for the quote monitor. And it's crazy to think because that's literally the classic TWS layout. It's just a quote monitor. The quote monitor is the pinnacle of the expert trading, the expertise of trading. You need to use the quote monitor. That's it. You don't need anything else. Only a quote monitor and your charts from something other platform. Okay. Got it, guys. Cool. Let's go over my hotkeys now. Global configuration. Here we go. I've programmed all of these hotkeys. I've programmed some less important hotkeys like show news, open the message center, cancel contract orders. So here we go, guys. Cancel contract orders, shift C. Transmit any orders that I'm clicked on, shift T. Now here's where the important hotkeys come into play. So I have shift B and shift S set to buy market and sell market adaptive orders set to the normal priority, okay? So the adaptive algo is an algo that IBKR has, and it's basically, instead of a plain old market order, which a plain old market order tells the market that you are willing to buy or sell at any price. So even if it's trading at $10, the market maker can literally move the price to 1050, fill you at 1050, and then move it back to $10. That's basically what a market order is. But when you attach an adaptive algo to that, the adaptive algo, what it does is it scans in the bid and the ask spread at the moment and tries to find you the best possible fill that's that's going to add liquidity to the market and not rip you off on commissions. All right. And there's an urgency setting with that. If you set it to urgent, it means get me in really quick or get me out really quick. If you set it to patient, it's going to spend more time scanning, which means it'll take a longer time for your order to fill. So I'll just show you that real quick by market shift B. I'll configure that. You can see here that's where you set your shortcut customize and this is where you set all the info okay so it's set to buy market and then you go down here i have it set to the option because you have to program it for each individual trading instrument so if you set it for forex futures stocks etc for options because i only trade options i have it on ib algo adaptive set to normal okay got it cool shift b shift s for buy and sell now limit obviously the majority of my orders are, are filled with limit orders now i want to tell you one thing is that i have it set here to shift k and shift l for buy limit at the bid and sell limit at the ask but i actually have it programmed to these keys here on the right side so these two top keys which are like macro keys on my keyboard i set them so that this one m1 
is set to shift L so that pressing this key is going to trigger my sell limit order and pressing this key is going to trigger my buy limit order okay so I have it set to there so basically that's the personal preference so I use these five macro keys here at the bottom so sell limit buy limit the bottom one I have it programmed on a macro to just pull up my options chain right away so if I'm the options chain, I don't have it on any windows, but I programmed it for M5 here at the bottom. So I press M5 and the options chain comes right up. Okay. The other two here, I have them programmed to switch tabs in my Internet Explorer. So when I'm using trading view, I often have many tabs on the window. So this one is set to move a previous tab and this one goes to the next tab. All right. Five macro keys here. A lot of modern keyboards have these keys. Some of them have a lot more so you can be creative with how you use those. All right. Let's keep looking at what I have here. I have this one sell market as control S. So keep in mind the other ones were all shift. This one's control S and I'll tell you why because if you look at how I customize it, I set it to IB Ago Adaptive on the urgent setting. So that control S, whenever I hit that, that's like get me out right now, please, because I don't want to be in this position. Got it? <laughs> all right. And then the last one here is sell stop or stop limit which I have it set to shift Q and, and that can be either stop or stop limit. So I, I'm not exactly sure as to which one I'm going to use yet, but I think stop orders are pretty good in IBKR, but they don't work well in the paper trading platform. Obviously, there's a lot of slippage there, but in live account, I'm sure it works fine. And one thing to note about stop orders, and I'll just show you real quick here. So if I plug in a stop limit order right now on Apple, you can see here at the bottom, it's going to show up. I'll just bring that over to show you and you can see here the stop is at 110 and then the stop price is at 110. So basically here it's supposed to be a stop limit order, but nowhere in this do I see the limit price. So I was always confused with this right here in that in this uh, activity window here that I usually was using to um, get my orders in. It's not showing me where my stop limit is and where my stop price is. If you use the order entry, it will show you that it shows you stop price and limit price if you use the order entry window. But the whole point of it is to not use any of this stuff and just see it right in front of me. So it's not working. So the advantage of the quote window, again, I'll show you here it is, is that if I'm on a contract and I press my, my hockey for stop limit, now you can see, look at this right here, stop limit. And you can see the two prices clearly right there. So the first one here, 107 is the limit price. And the one on the right here is going to be the stop price. So this is going to be a stop sell order at set the, the one on the right of the quote monitor is your stop price. So let's say I say the stop at a dollar, which means that when the contract trades at a dollar, it will trigger a sell limit order for all this stuff. And then my limit is going to be um, a 98, for example. Okay. So that means that I can't get ripped off by the market maker. Now, obviously in the case of an extreme liquidity um, imbalance in either direction, you probably want to get out on a market order anyways. So that's why it's a bit of a mixed discussion here. So I might end up just using a regular stop order or not. So we'll see. That's just the thing. So I have it set to stop limit. Again, I like it how you can see the stop price and the limit price in the quote monitor and nowhere else. So the quote monitor is king. Cancel order, shift C. Got it, guys. All right. So those are pretty much all the hotkeys I use in Trader Workstation. I showed you them all. Obviously, you can set up many others. There's many other hotkeys you can program here relating to the Trader Workstation platform. And just so you remember here, I have it here in the general configuration under hotkeys. Obviously, you can program the uh, hotkeys under different things like charts. Originally, I had them all programmed under chart trader, but now I've learned that the quote monitor is the king. So you just program them in general configuration and they all work on the quote monitor instantly. All right. Some other hotkeys I have programmed. I do have some macros programmed. One of them is whenever I press the uh, slash right slash key, it brings up my discord screen. Whenever I hit shift G while a trading view window is selected, it deletes all the drawing tools. And that's pretty convenient because sometimes when you draw a lot of lines and you want to get rid of them all at once, sometimes I don't feel like using the mouse to go click on the garbage can. So I use shift G for that. And I programmed that with a macro software called pullovers macro creator. So I highly recommend this if you're trying to go more in depth with crazy hotkeys and stuff. So I'm going to work on making my compact execution layout now using the quote monitor and I'll leave it there for today, guys. So I wish you a great weekend. All the best to you. Take care. Bye.